Hey everybody, welcome to Battle Pirates Crib. Um, I guess now was uh, I missed the end of your uh, of your uh, show there, TSM. So something bad happened at the end. Got me ass kicked. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Um, all right. Well, uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, we're going to talk about Mastermind, uh, some of the X One upgrades, and uh, um, I guess. TSM's current experience with the raid and uh, anything else you guys want to talk about. So feel free to put it in chat. Uh, let's say hello to everybody. Uh, TSM. Hello again. Are you okay? I'm okay. Good. All right. Very good. And uh, peg leg. Oh, he hit the mute button again. Well, there we that, go. that is an absolute disgrace when that happens. <laughs> Not intended at all. But then again, no, none of the guys showed up for work today. I think they had too much fun last night with the ladies that came in. So, of course, I'm both tended bar. I'm running the restaurant in the back. I'm trying to feed the people and give them the drinks. There's been no rest, no nothing. I missed on Mark's stream. I had it in the background. I could hear it. All these buggers at the bar like, what's this shit? Got me watch some soccer. Absolute, just absolute crap. How are you doing, everybody? Very it's right there. Let's go out and hit some shit and feel good about ourselves. Alrighty. Am I, allowed to am I allowed to say that on the stream, or is that going to cause a problem for you? The guard are going to come calling on you now. <laughs> I, I don't think it'll be a problem. Oh, good. To I hear. think I, I, I think I probably uh, said worse. I was uh, okay. No, sounds good. Let's uh, let's move forward. I was going to uh, if Yoda popped in, I was going to ask him uh, um, how you turn the lightsaber on and on because I imagine it's sort of like the mute button. But I'm assuming it's just the force on how the you, you turn the lightsaber on. There's no button on there, is there? There is a button on there, actually. <laughs> okay. That's how Jedi use the force for all functions. There is a button so you can use your dexterity and not have to use the force. <laughs> okay, so anybody could just pick it up and push the button, right? Oh, yes. Pick it up, push the button, <laughs> zap yourself, stick yourself in the head. It can happen. <laughs> okay, all right. Morons there are. Morons there are doing dumb things, yes. Okay. Alrighty. That was me in that last target. Use <laughs> <laughs> the force. You did not. <laughs> All right. Once we get to the target list, we'll ask which one it was because I missed that one. All right. They updated the AI pathing, um, because it seems like I never ordered anything with the brute, so it seems like it was using the the trauma mortar as a targeting function, and since uh, it has a longer range, can shoot over uh, mountains. Uh, it seems like uh, ships are getting stuck there. So they have uh, uh, made all ships um, ignore the, the built-in in regards to AI pathing and targeting. So um, if I may, may I, may I comment on that for you? Mm -hmm. AI pathing is something that was developed with the stormtroopers, and we all know they can't touch shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, I tend to agree I, on that one. Yeah, I, I think until like what what year and movies did uh, anybody hit anybody in TV and movies? Yeah, it was it yeah. It, it was some point in the two thousands because before that nobody hit anybody. You know. You, you can watch one show of a team and they expel like 40,000 rounds and nobody gets hit. And uh, don't start dissing 18. That was my favorite show. <laughs> <You know. laughs> he, he, he's, as you might imagine, uh, TSM is wearing all the Mr. T jewelry. At Crazy food. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I ain't uh, flying no plane. <laughs> All right, fix the. Uh, I forgot who mentioned it on the Friday show, but somebody mentioned that they were having problems putting armor on their greater heavy cruiser. Um, you I know, that's interesting. Same... You you asked me about it. I tested. It. I had zero problems. I I thought that was. Odd. I'm not sure when. Yeah. Um, because I mentioned it the next day, and then it got because it seems that like I was unaware of it, and maybe it had to do with. Um, something on the client side i don't know um so uh yeah i'm not sure why some people were having the problems and others weren't but it obviously seems uh 
the people at Kicks I picked up on it right away and uh, put a fix in. So thanks everybody for whoever it was that mentioned it. Um, yes, and uh, they've changed. Uh, the reason behind this is obvious. Um, the EM rails previously said ballistic critical chance and ballistic critical damage. And with the new UAV turret that's coming in, which does ballistic damage, which is not a cannon, they had to change that uh, wording so it was properly balanced. So no, your UAV would not be doing the critical damage and chance because it wasn't intended for that purpose. So, um, and CS Jade is locked on the tower. I assume this is some sort of Rapunzel type of thing. Um, Hank and Jade have got some sort of little thing going back and forth, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, not bad. It seems to be one-sided on my spot from what I can see. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it, it, he makes comments. I haven't seen her make comments, but I you know. Yoda, Yoda's tugging on my shirt here. What do you want? From TSM Street, he mentions a grease monkey. Is that in the picture? Is she a grease monkey? Highly desirable. <laughs> yeah. She's Quite not rare. a grease monkey. <laughs> She's not rare. a grease monkey. Go take your little juice and sit in the corner. <laughs> Play with your little glow stick. Um, yeah, Ligo said had one ally member that couldn't add armor to her MK build for four days. Uh, Dynamite says, yeah, I can't add armor. Um, um, check and see if you can now, um, Ligo or Ligo's friend uh, or ally member, and then Dynamite. Um, it's just bizarre. What, why some can and some can't? That I don't get. Yeah, to one of my ships, and I have, yeah, it's the flag that I have the problem with. So uh, um, supposedly it's fixed. Um um, if you were able to, you're able to add it if you aimed above where you were supposed to add it. I mean, if you clicked on the actual spot where you're supposed to add the armor, it wouldn't allow you to. But if you clicked above it, you were able to. So it was some sort of graphics issue. Yeah, it was. It seems like that uh, um, the target for that was transposed higher, higher than it was. So. Uh, all right, um, let's move on then. All right, we're in the main raid. We have Terra in the Deep for some unknown reason. It's all lionfish stuff. We got power play, which could be of interest to people um, that want to get uh, additional three day defense platform, defense platform tokens. Um, and then the following week, we have. Uh, a new target. The 223 is going away. Boo. It's very much a boo. <laughs> yeah, boo. yeah. I don't like the two. I don't like the other ones. They're horrible. I'm gutted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and VXP weekend. I'm not sure what we're doing there. Um, deep covers for the assassin. Not really relevant to people that probably listen to this show. Uh, and then brutal instinct TLC um very important to do um five days of uh upgrade tokens for your brute if you did it before and you also did pillage you should have nine right now and then this, this will give you an additional five so that's going to be a total of um 14. um just keep that in your mind the number 14 uh as we move forward and uh, let's see, we got the May Bounty. Um, wait, Greta's Absolution is for the, oh, that is for the uh, Heavy Cruiser MK2. So uh, again, eight days of build tokens, five days of upgrade tokens for the current raid fleet. And then um, probably uh, pillage the next week so and if you're uh, like a lot of us that that build kind of in that hamster wheel sort of approach our, our <laughs> fifth hull or our fourth regular is largely going to get built out of that dlc yeah yeah so uh there's no more comments on the calendar um uh, let's move forward all right this is why i brought up the uh brutal instinct tlc Right now, if you have nine, um, 
um, brute upgrade tokens. That is going to get three of your brutes done with no dock time. If you're at least if you're at my Intel Lab level, because three of them are going to get rid of. Uh, uh, it's going to be three tokens per, so it's nine, and then you get the five days. You only need three. You got all your normal brutes up to U3. Um, and then the primal brute, um, there's no tokens for it, at least at this point, and I really don't expect any. Um, is four days and eight hours. Um, these, uh, the upgrades are, I mean, they're, they're, they're decent, but they're nothing exciting. Um, the uh, rocket reload plus fifteen percent. I don't know if the rocket reload actually needs to get any higher. To be honest, um, countermeasure range. I was just going to say that one is, is interesting because I haven't asked the question to get clarification because we have anti-penetrative um, and anti-explosive, and then we also have countermeasures. We don't actually have any strictly countermeasures on these on our brutes because they don't work so i'm assuming this countermeasure is also includes anti-penetrative and anti-mortar because we did have a countermeasure on the lionfish that was built in i'm just not i'm hoping they got this right or or they fix it if they if it's just impacting like sprints and whatever else you you know might want to put on these um i'm assuming they got this one right um and then additional survival the flag prov also provides a uh, an aura that provides uh, survival to the rest of the ships in the fleet so uh i was just going to comment that x1 rocket reload for those that were running the cluster warheads and stuff yeah no, no noticeable thing for those that have gone to a newer or more advanced or developed a build as you've gotten the better rockets and stuff and have dropped that off yeah that little reload actually might might be a little more noticeable and helpful okay so they've like, gotten more advanced by dropping cluster uh warheads and added in what um i'm trying to remember like apex predator for example he dropped off the super reload and went for a i don't know it was more damage or speed. splash or speed whatever it was yeah, i think i think he, i think he went with speed as i recall Right. But anyway, he, he said, you know, you know, for him, they're going to go by, they're going to reload whatever they're at. And it always seems to me to look like it could use just a little more reload than it has when I've looked at his videos. So mm -hmm. maybe this is that magic piece of the puzzle kind of a thing. Okay. Just a so, thought. Okay. All righty. Um, so what we should expect from this is the, the next target is going to be built for x1 brutes in the fm and we're going to see a change in pillage as far as the target um and also that the brute is reaching its uh its older years its senior years in regards to at least the fm we are going to continue to see this in tlcs for the next i mean we still see lionfish targets in the tlcs you know um power play right now so this is worth doing and if you were caught up um and did pillage and brutal instinct the only time that you're really going to need to spend is the four days eight hours for the primal brute in order to get this accomplished it's not going to take a huge amount of shipyard time um if you've been caught up with everything so based on that comment with that in mind for a moment if the x1 brute is reaching end of of its feature life we'll just say it's big, the know, fm life yeah yeah the fm life but wh how what kind of a timetable do you think you're going to see the new hull for it appear in june or july two months, two, or i'm two listening more two, two, two more months okay i, so I, I think we, i think we'll probably see it um like you know as we take a look at these prizes um, are mostly PVP. I'm expecting we're going to get the new haul for the raid next uh, raid, and then the following raid. It would not surprise me. I'm not. I don't have any inside information on this one. It would not surprise me if we see the, um, you know, the new two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, another garrison hall that's going <laughs> to pop up. 
So, um, but it could be, it's either going to be two months from now or four months from now in my, you know, right. The way I look at it. And I, I, I think two months is more likely than, than four months. And the other, the other part of that too, with, with life saying, okay, so when the new one comes, you're still going to have a rotation of targets out that brutes will be usable for, for, so what three months of of, of some FM target? Well, 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 the, well, the, well, the, we still have a lionfish target as the right. bottom target in the FM. So I mean, there's, uh, the there's next a lot of life to be had yet. Are yeah, people still hitting months. that lionfish target? I suppose some are. Yeah, yeah I, I have seen that. Although they're hitting with swallowtails, I think. But yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not it's been a lionfish. year for. I don't know what Dinah is. Um. But the lionfish only got six months. So, yeah. That's their new thinking or our concept is six months per garrison. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm basing that, um, I'm basing my comments on the fact that the lionfish lasted for six six months. And um, the fact that we're getting X1 at this point, we wouldn't be at X1 for six months. I mean, another x1 and then run for another six months it doesn't allow them to um progress in the game so if it was going to be um if it was gonna last for another six months they're gonna have to invent uh, double x and triple x so uh yeah 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 i mean dynamite says you still prefer the year and I agree to a certain extent. However, I think they've made the the brute much easier than historical for our garrison slash FM ships between um, the availability of upgrade tokens and build tokens and whatnot. That Cost make to build it, time, yeah. Yeah, the amount of dock time has gone down commensurate. Um, I think it's actually easier than some of the older stuff because um, they actually made you sacrifice a good amount of... They, they force you to make choices, good or bad, whether you wouldn't have a good um, FN fleet or you wouldn't have a good raid fleet at the same time. So, um, yeah, and I, I think that's... That's sort of the the choices we've been they've they've made for us, so to speak. So, all right, um, let's we'll move forward. All right, the heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser MK two X one, um, cruiser survival bonuses, splash bonuses, and each um, heavy cruiser that gets to X one adds three uh, percent uh, combat speed. I don't know if there's a range associated with this, but um, I didn't see an aura range. I must admit. But, um, yeah, they've been trying to get rid of orange ranges, but I saw something that they put out recently where orange range aura range did come back. Um, it's it's the same for the flag and Greta's and the normal ones um, in regards to the stat. In regards to the stats, um, but it does the not flagship, unstack your fleet either. But it does not unstack your fleet. I, yeah, I mean, the way it's written, it does, from what I've been explained, yeah, it doesn't, it's three, it don't, it's each one, at least my understanding, it's each one that has it increases everybody by 3%, yeah. as opposed to only halls at X1 being affected. Right. I mean, this, I, I have not tested this out. I did ask the question because the way it's stated. It's, That's my understanding as well, yeah. Yeah, it's not the clearest way to state this. I would have just said 3% per hull and just dropped the X1 at X1, and it would have been clear to me that I didn't, yeah. you know, each that has this upgrade would do it. I would just drop X1, and I thought it would have been clear um, because the, it could be read that it required it at X1 in order to be impacted by this combat speed or so um but the, the 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 only difference the stats are the same but the upgrade times are different the normal ships are five days 18 hours while the um 
the flag is eight days, 16 hours. That's kind of if punishing. you are maxed out on your Intel app. That's kind of punishing. Yep. I have suggestions for improvements. Okay. Well, it's, it's, is it longer than what we had before? I think it's about the same as far as X1 on a flag or. Yeah. It seems like it's back to the times it used to be. It just, I don't know, it, it feels like I said, punishing. It depends on what your grading is though, isn't it? You know, that's, I mean, that's your Intel lab fully up to speed now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 This is my Intel fully. I'm fully up. I don't All think right. anything yeah. should be, I don't think they should force us to take any action that lasts longer than like five and a half, six days um, because of how we get information sort of drip fed to us. And the calendar is not going to come out until like the day before the end of the month. So we don't even know what's happening two days from now, let alone making us make a commitment to something that's going to take eight and a half days in order to accomplish because we can't plan accordingly. Um, this might have this would have been more acceptable when we had um, a calendar that lasted for two months. But with a one month calendar that is updated like the day before or maybe two days after the month ends, I don't I don't like the fact that we have something that you're locked into for eight and a half days um, and you don't really have a choice about it. And the other thing is the, the availability of upgrade tokens for the flag short of purchasing them is usually slim to none. Yes, yeah, yes. And a lot of people only plan, even if they wanted to cancel, a lot of people only plan to have the 80 required. So yeah. if even if they did cancel it, then they're fucked. You know, they're, they're going to have to wait yeah, for... Yeah, have to start again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, start again with time, and then wait for an event in order to get the kits in order to, to get the kits yeah it's a shame that when you don't cancel you you lose the kits it's, it's crazy because you know it's, it's just a frustrating point that is i don't know whether that's an oversight whether it's done on purpose but you can't yeah you should you should be able to get those kits back i think but that's just the way it is frustrating yeah yeah so but um i guess the interesting part about this is uh what they consider important for the next generation of targets, which appear to be splash and combat speed. So, all right, all right, move on. All right, mastermind. Um, we have a whole combination. Was there a story written for this one? There was not. Yeah, because we have Greta, no. and then we have. Like, could you go back? Is it yeah. all? It was. It was just get on with it. <laughs> well, you know, they were doing the storyline thing, which, you know, was kind of nice in a way, a little bit long winded, maybe kind of like I can get at times. But um, some people were just bitching endlessly. Pardon me. But, you know, why are they wasting time to give us a story? Well, there used to be a storyline to the game way yeah. back when it was part of the game. Yeah. And how come historically, I mean, Harlock is. He looks like 30 years older than he did uh, two years ago, right? All that smoking and drinking, man. And Greta, Greta hasn't uh, really not changed a bit. She might have put on a couple pounds, but otherwise she's... Uh... She's blossoming. What are you on about? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's move forward. All right, we have, uh, we have the targets here. Um... um we have the 100 and 101 uh, as one set, a uh, million dollars for the, or a million points for the entire set. Uh, and then we have the SE, uh, SE, two S's, and then the X and the Y targets, which aren't shown on here. Um, and I'm assuming the 500 was the, where you met your uh, demise. Uh, Don't mention it. Don't mention it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna have to go over to TSM side to uh, got my ass <laughs> kicked royally <laughs> to, to get a full tour of how to do the 500. If oh, you nice. want to, uh, if you want to use the uh, the 12 hour uh, repair token that was supplied to you, you will need the, it. Uh, the pillage, <laughs> so uh, you know. Um, but got a kick in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and that's gonna provide you. Um, you know, another bonus. Normally, 
it sounds like from um, from what you said, this sort of fits into what we've normally seen is the most efficient way to do the raid targets is to do the S set and get that million because the the ones involved with the um, the X set um, either take a lot more time or damage in order to accomplish. And you're not really, you know, the extra 250K is either lost through driving time or damage time. And it seems like uh, um, this time it might be damage time. It was a terrible path, I'll be honest, because <laughs> okay. I didn't know what was popping up where and that sort of stuff. And I was like, this is horrendous. I just want to get through this target and then log off. <laughs> 500 is co op too, isn't it? Yeah, it should be, but I don't think it's probably... I mean, we've never co-opted them, to be honest, and I think if somebody goes in and then pops something up and you're in the way of it, you're going to get damaged, so you won't be very pleased with the person you go in with either. So. Right. Okay, Otherwise. so um, does that need, mean you need a couple more minutes in order to repair your uh, ship so we can... Uh... No, they're done, because I'm good. You know, I'm ready to rock and roll if, you, if you're okay. ready to play. Uh, Would you prefer to do it now? Um can and stop the, mind. Or, or or we could go through uh let's see uh three more slides let's do the slides and, cool let's do the okay slides. all right all right let's see what the next slide has in store for us we got a lot of skins named Point after <laughs> gems uh quite expensive um i don't have any problem with it uh we got the rock slide heavy uav turret uh base turret we can get two of them uh the tempered spine i was wrong about not going on an open a spire yes uh it, look, it looks more like a spine than a spire uh it doesn't look like a spire to be honest right it is actually a portal gate um well it's got a sticky up bit so there's a spire but you know it's not exactly what i call a spire it's got some sticky bits so they yeah are pointing it looks in the more up like direction. a spine with, with, with like you know you know Fishbone. it looks more, more, more like a vertebrae than it does like a spire yeah in my mind but uh Maybe you got to zoom we'll in a bit further. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, and then we have the um, ten heavy cruiser MK two upgrade tokens. Um, probably the one of the top prizes here. Oh yeah, um, for sure. Out of the group, uh, and then we have the dire wolf heavy depth charge, which previously was only available through bounty. Um, concussive weapon um or not, i didn't put a slide together for this how is this working in um in base defense and whatnot um i tend to drive past them personally yeah i mean they they, they have their purpose in place but <laughs> it's not terribly um exciting um and not like wow putting that in made it any kind of real significant difference okay Similar to the rock slide UAV about to happen. Yeah, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> but anyway, based on the math that I've been playing around with, with Daniel as well. So. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we have the, uh, we also have 10 one day heavy cruiser MK2 two build tokens, um, which I'm assuming is going to be enough. Every, you know, if you claim all 10 of these, should be enough to uh, uh, get everything taken care of. In regard, you probably don't even need to do the uh, the TLC. But I think the more advantageous thing is if you got your build wrong, um, they're not that expensive to prevent you from yeah. optimizing your build during the raid and making some changes that might that might be helpful or you know. Uh, finishing a last ship or something of that nature so th those are uh, important as well and then we got just upgrade kits so for the the brute and then the uh, um, the brute and the heavy cruiser so uh, um, uh, I'm gonna ask you one at a time TSM which is your favorite skin the original one <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually all that I, I like usually what the art department does with stuff, even just the color variations. These are a little uninspired, I hate to say, but 
Yeah, I, I mean, probably the Ruby if you're going to do anything, but I'm not bothering any of them. I, I prefer the original one, to be honest. Yeah, okay. And I'm assuming Yoda wants the Emerald and then uh, and then the Irishman. That's where it's at, baby. <laughs> or, or, or the Irishman, uh, the Ruby to match his nose, correct? My nose is not red, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> young <laughs> man. It, is it Citroen? So well, I'm hoping it, it's, it's actually I'm hoping it's, it's more citrus. I'm hoping it's not amethyst. That means it's probably falling off from frostbite. Yeah, no, none of that. No, more of the <laughs> citron thing, you know, I, I try to stick it out the window and get a little sun each day so I you know keeps a little tan on it. Artith is asking why are they so expensive? And the reason for that is the same reason um I haven't taken a look. Let me, let me see if my game is still up. Uh leaderboard, global leader. Whoops. Oh, I, it hasn't even started for me, so I can't even see the, the uh, um, TSM. Do you want to tell me what the uh, 72 million? Okay, yeah, yeah. There's a guy that's you know an hour and a half or an hour or half an hour into the raid and already has 72 million. So, um, that's Again, probably why they're so we, expensive. We need to have the cash register ring and sound effect you can fire when you need to. Top, top six are over 50 million. Already. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, if I was in charge, I would make a hot pink one that was probably uh, 150 million, and people would still claim it. Um, yeah, you know, um, so that's why they're so expensive because they're, yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, all right, uh, let's move on. All right, the Rock, rock Slide Heavy UAV Turret. Um, nice job by the art department. That's one thing I can say. Okay. And um, it's uh, it's got a Salvo of 3, damage is 7.5, and um, there used to be a point in time that you could only use, you know, UAV damage and UAV reload and whatnot to convey uh, additional damage if you're using a UAV. But now it's it's reload, uh, damage, projectile speed was always there. Um, this one, I guess splash isn't an issue. Um, so am I right that all aspects of you know that UAV rule that we had for years and years and years, is that completely gone, or are there are still certain little bastions of things that you can't do with normal specials? No, I, I think it's pretty well standardized now that your your normal, whatever you know, damage type it is, those then in, influences can be applied along with the UAV ones to the UAV. They standardize it for turrets and ships to make that, uh, you know, the the modern standard. We'll call it. Okay. So, um, so there is, there is a special for, um, UAVs. Yes, there is. And it's not something you want to put on. It takes 75% of your, uh, power and only provides what 20% of your, uh, 20% damage increase. Um, yeah, you can get that back from another special. Another ballistic special. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you use heavy ballistic shells, you get ballistic damage of plus eighty-five and projectile speed of a hundred percent. Um, um, at the only plus thirty-five. Yeah, the, the, the inherent problems with this thing is the power consumed on a top-end turret limits your options somewhat, um, which is intentional on their part, of course. And, and then the other factor is because it's got a salvo of three, no matter how you stack it up, if you don't have the faction bonus of being forsaken, you end up with numbers against the current meta and PVP that are, well, kind of bouncing tin cans off the ships as they drive by. Mm. You know, it, it does, it does in the case of, um, you know, certain halls, it certainly will have some effect, but meaningful effect maybe is to me the key word for it if it's going to sit there and take three minutes for it to do enough to to matter that's not meaningfully effective mm -hmm. you know because nobody's going to sit there for three minutes and watch their watch these things buzz around their ship and do nothing in response to it 
Um, I, not that anybody wants, you know, massively overpowered thing either, but I, I think it, this is it's the combination of what you can apply on it for the power picture that's available and the damage salvo, you know, thing, it just doesn't compute out well without being forsaken, which is forcing everybody that direction if that's what you're going to do. Yeah, and when we had the sort of um, message from Peter that as far as what was going to happen in PVE, they talked about specials and being able to navigate in different directions. It seems like we're getting the base tools at this point, but we're not 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 base meaning your base, but like the the lower level tools. And we're going to get the the ability to adjust at some point later because all of these everything that comes out seems to be you need to have fire support um two right on it in order to even have it do any damage right mm -hmm. and then the faction to do any sort of significant damage right yep. so there's not nothing that's doing you know if you have a uh, pretty much anything that we have just sitting out there on an island um and not supported by either a faction or um some sort of aura from uh, a base emplacement isn't going to do anything to the long shot or some other ones so um so uh, all right um if there's nothing um more on this one should we move on mark you got anything you want to add Oh, there's another uh, slide. Oh, I'm no, sorry. Go ahead. I think it's a stinker. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, we'll but All right. It needs to. Yeah, it, it depends on doing things as you said, and, and I'm not doing it. So. Yep. All right. Um, there's please. a little better graphic on the tempered spire. Yeah, it still doesn't look like a spire to me, or no. it looks like three. Uh, it looks like an octopus, to be honest. That's sort of been. Um, a bastardized black gate from um saran in the dark tower or whatever that's called okay. maybe it could be i don't know um all right it's um provides a huge amount of armor um they modified it from the briefing so that it's just even 500 uh k in deflection which is different because i'm comparing it to the the previous release was the draconian ice wall um as far as the advantages um the thing it doesn't say under what should say under both of them say under tactical modules it should say under special abilities for both of these in my mind um but on the tempered spire it says negative 25 percent evade bonus so it's subtracting from the bonus not your base evade the way i'm reading this for a range of 20 of of 130 for 30 seconds. I'm assuming this is happening on the destruction of the portal. Doesn't yeah. say it. Doesn't say it, but it does say it on the Draconian Ice Wall when that occurs. Um, <clears throat> Old Stamp Immune is noted twice. So, boy, that's a special thing, I guess, right? What, what, say one more time. Cold Snap Immune was noted twice in the uh, details, which seems to be a. Uh, Redundant, or I can't see how that's a special highlight, really, but okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, it's, um, the whole thing is um, mo modified by the fact that it takes um, the portal level seven in order to equip it. So um, originally in the briefing, it said that there was three available. That's been modified to one. It's always been in the game that you can only get one. So um, one's available, but you need to have uh, the highest level uh, portal to equip it. So, yeah. Alrighty. Um, let's, any thoughts on this one, uh, TSM, Peglick? Well, um, go ahead. The raw armor's nice, isn't it? So, you know, the armor points double what we've got in all the other, film, other ones. So it's, you know. From that. But you already have an armor point and these deflections from going from portal six to portal seven, right? Yeah, that's true. 
so they're both getting added up to make it a much tougher wall uh, oh, yeah. at that point in time. It's, it's a whole, yeah, I mean, it's going to gonna hold them back and, and probably put it in second base, you know, of your three pools, if you've got, depending on where you've got. It's down to the build yet again. You can't just say, oh, yeah, but I stick it here, stick it there, because it depends on what your kill zone is or your, you know, your tr trap is and that sort of stuff, you know. It depends on how you built your, you know, your base. But I mean, it's okay. Still doesn't look like a spire, but you know, it's, it's still, it's okay. I know it came up as a question somewhere. I forget where, but uh, damage type radioactive. When there's no actual damage, they have to have a damage type in there for game code, even if the damage is the actual damage it does is zero. They just happen to choose radioactive. It's just a stat block they got to fill out, isn't it? Yep. That's all. Yep. They can't leave it blank. So it's it's that math game thing again, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, I think this is the end of the slides. Um, yep. Unless we want to talk about pillage. Nope. Now you're good. Not yet. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, TSM, do you want to hit? The, are you going to hit the 100 first? Yes, Candy. Yeah. Hang on then. Let's, or um, unless you want to hit the 500 first. No, you're your right. <laughs> I think the 500 is going to be fine. Um, you know, this is not like, you know, the sky is falling. It's just I didn't have time to think out the path. I went ahead of a hit it. And I went that was it was going wrong from the second I you know started in the wrong place and it just went wrong from there. So Okay. All I right. just basically it's gonna take a bit of thought. It's always the target that takes a bit of thought. Okay. And, so you're eventually gonna hit the uh the five hundred so in case anybody well, like the last watching, I did. going in chat. Yeah. Call your neighbors, your parents, and you know, have them tune into the show just to see how this works out. Badly. There, there, there might be some, uh, you know, um, <laughs> you know, R-rated language or uh, things of that nature that might occur, and uh, yeah, you never know. You <laughs> bring out the know. swear jar. You should. Right. Okay. So there are options, obviously, as ever. Um, the builds we don't need to talk about. This build, though, uh, what I've done is, uh, if you can see it, I've gone for the uh, acid diffusion system. Okay, the shell. Sorry giving the 30% combat speed, but I did uh, change mildly just the flagship uh, on that one there. Then I've gone for a hyper 30 and actually I've also gone for a vague upgrade, which I may take off. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Um, but ultimately that gets the fleet all at the same speed. Um, and my evade on the flagship is uh, basically at 73. So that's, that's something. Um, in fact, let me just uh, quickly do this. And I know everybody complains that they can't see. So let's just do that. So that makes it a bit bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. OK, so we're now 100%. So that's good. Right. So fleet, um, I am going to run a crew. And we can do one or two things. We can look at a couple of crews. Splash crew might actually help as well, to be honest. Did you uh, run but... any crews in your uh, live stream? I ran without crews, and then I ran with, um, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was Steelheads. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was Steelheads. Um, although in the latter target, it would have been better to run with C7s because I couldn't turn quick enough. Because you have to go into sort of like little um, right-angle corner areas, and the halos are firing at you, and you can't turn and get out quick enough. I just ah. couldn't do it. So it was mildly frustrating, to say the least. But for now, let's let's just go Steelheads. Um Okay, so um, I have posted on the TFC page both of these targets being done for instant fixing docs. So uh, 100, just to prove that I could do it <laughs> in case I goof it up now. So this one doesn't matter. Uh, you can enter over here, but it has an entry point uh, at the six o'clock. And there are a couple of turrets that will pop up on you. Now, you can choose to go and get these on the outside. There's one of those that pops up here, and that's basically a penetrative turret, um, and it's a 360 turret. Uh, I wouldn't bother trying to hit it from the outside. You can, but you're still going to trigger the Ronin. Okay, uh, these ones, let me just get rid of that. These ones here, you can take these from the outside, So, and you outrange them, which I was surprised about, but you can outrange them. And then coming up here, uh, you are you have three more of those same ones, these ones here, the corrosive ones. They pop up here. And you can take this one and this one out by nipping in these two areas here without triggering either the glats or this one to hit you, which is quite nice. Um, 
You can remove all of these up here uh, without any issues. They seem to be linked because as you hit one, it seems to track right across to the other one. Um, Resource it generator it looks like? Yeah, it looks like it, but they seem to have some sort of connection between the two because you're definitely hitting things further away than what your splash radius is. Um, I tried to nip the Ronin. That wasn't a good idea because then it started doing stupid things and firing at me, so I left it alone on the second attempt. It's definitely worthwhile killing this off before you go in just by a bit of drive-by shooting. Why? Because obviously when you're going up here to kill this one on drive-by, he's already going to be hitting you at the same time. So it's better to be under the hit of one as opposed to two, I think. Um, that's about it. And I find the most beneficial way is to pre-select what you're aiming for before you even get to it. So that was basically it in a nutshell. Um, so we'll have a little look. So bear in mind, this is supposed to be the fastest fleet. Well, with the, with the Hyper 30, you know, on the flagship. It still feels ridiculously slow. Uh, it's not too bad. There are no nasty halos in here, but there will be in a moment in the next target. So I'm just going to stay ideally at full range. And that will do. There wasn't really any benefit. In fact, there was a benefit to actually taking these out early because you take these out early. When you come around the corner, you get to target the glut straight away as opposed to your ships taking these out as you go around this inner loop. So um, you can... I mean, it will save you probably 30 seconds damage. So if you get bored of doing so, then just gate crash the whole thing, which I did do on one of the, one of the attempts on the live stream. You'll see this effect now where you're talking about the splash radius seems to be exaggerated. Um, when it comes to hitting turrets, it doesn't happen like that. I don't think these are going to pop up. Too soon, unless it's when I get close. I, I, can't think, remember. I, I, think, I think it did pop up. Which, I think, uh, yeah. I think it, it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we've got them. So, and you can be fairly liberal um, with your approach because uh, you can quite easily outrange them. Yeah, th th this is the most interesting part because this allows you to uh, go to the to the north of the main. Um, yeah, yeah. And and not have to worry about this bottom one, or the the one to the left, the one that I can't get. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you can avoid that till everything else is dead. I haven't played it; just watching you on your uh, previous yeah, stream. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. It's it's um, I'm very surprised we can outrange them as as confidently as that. To be honest, yeah. And I'm especially once we get to the the next one. I, I'm surprised by how different these targets are from the VXP targets. Yes. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah very little is comparable. So here we go. Look, we're pre-selecting as we go in now. So I'm going to go to this top corner over here. I'm going to pre-select this gluttony. Okay. The, what is that accurate? That used to be a dumb fire missile. This one here? Used to be dumb fire. And no, it, def to... it definitely seems to be hitting the uh, ship. One well, of the I'm, ships I, I... got more damage. What I'm saying is, in the VXP, um, well, they changed obviously the if, visual. If, 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 yeah, yeah, because there used to be another one that looked like a launcher, which isn't there anymore. Yeah, not there anymore. And then the one that we have the visual on this one was um, was dumbfire. This is now accuracy based, and the other one went away. And then when we get to the next stage. They've added new stuff that wasn't there before, which I'm, I'm not happy with them um, not presenting everything. Agreed. You yeah. know, you know. I'm not happy with this section of the target either. <laughs> but it is what it is. Well, it seems like with that, uh, it's, called, it's called firecracker or whatever happens to the drones. It seems like. I don't know if you need to rush them or the drones themselves will take out because they have a 40, I think a 40 range. Um, 
would take out the main ship by themselves. I'm not certain. You know, I haven't hit the target yet. Um, so, so I think this bit can be done a bit, a bit prettier. I think I probably have just kept going to north then. Uh, may not may not have triggered the second gluttony. I'm not sure to be honest. But, but, but you could just you could just push S at this point and it won't shoot at you, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, you can. Yes, I auto yeah. the very first one, and these weren't actually even on auto, which is, they tend to overlap, don't they? When they do that, and it still yeah. wasn't causing any damage, so as in didn't trigger the fire. So, yeah. Okay, so a four percent taken, which has been average to be honest. Uh, a little bit evaded, six percent, um, and then obviously nothing for the corrosive because it's area effect damage, and two percent taken on that. But forty percent resisted on, and forty eight percent resisted. Uh, and nine minutes there, which is reasonable. I think I had a seven minute one as well, and that sort of stuff on the live stream. So, mm. so acceptable, you know. Uh, we'll take it back in the base and look at the damage spread across the fleet, which is probably. And, worth and doing. build note: you're tilted three to one in favor of corrosive mm. armor too. Oh, sorry, yes, I am. Yeah, I'm three corrosive, one penetrative on the plates. That was all based on what we saw in VXP. Yes, yeah, which yeah. definitely seems to paid off, I believe. Well, except for you're taking more penetrative damage. Well, at the moment, I, at the moment I am, but then again, those the, the biggest. Well, I don't know the biggest damage. I think. Well, wait till you get the big turret, the target. Sorry. Um. So if I'm seven minutes, let's just go down to one because there was one ship that was taking more than the others. So it does not appear that there is any um, king killer. King killer. No, and the evade is definitely helping. Look, um, one forty four. Yeah. 229 143 so the, okay so the evade so there is a king killer it's just a little king killer is what i'm saying or, or maybe could, i've or maybe because i've got the evade up high enough i've managed to overcome the effect so it's not as bad i don't really know and only a few things oh, yeah, yeah. Prince killer maybe <laughs> yeah yes yeah, so, well that was fentanyl right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, too soon, right? But the, so one forty four. Look, is is on one. Look, one forty four. One forty three. One forty three, and then two twenty nine. Okay, and, and what position was that? Was that normally in the number two position, or was that normally number, number four? four? Okay, normal. Okay, it was in number four. So. Which is not an external. It's, it's a central ship, isn't it? You know, one at the front, three and five on the outsides. You know, it's a bit weird. But why that one took the damage? I'm not quite sure. Unless, but also, but it, it seems like yeah, there's. It feels like maybe there is some sort of king killer effect. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change the fleet now to find out. So. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just trying to like. Because I, I have hyper 30 across the board. You just have hyper 30. And, on the flag only, yeah. And then an evade upgrade on the flag. And then the rest of them are the... Uh, um, Cast fusion. Yeah. yeah. So the other thing uh, I think that maybe... So, so yes, I mean, that crew is going to help us a little bit. But maybe if we take that out and actually well, let's put them in here... And maybe we look at a building damage crew. Yeah. Quicker to kill them, so less shots hitting me. Do you want to try that? Yeah, or a splash crew, you know, anything. Or a splash, a splash crew would be interesting for the drones, I have to say. But um, I'm just wondering if... I'm, and, I, and I did ponder this. Because the so. splash is not going to impact the firecracker. Or, wait, is that the right name? Let me, let me double check. Uh, Built-in special effect thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see Which we keep on calling it firecracker, but I'm not sure that's the right word. Um, it's in the bottom of the stat block, and I can't remember what it's called. To be honest. And honestly, have we watched that? Looked for that effect? I think we're too busy figuring out the target to worry about. Yeah, right? yeah, I agree. Pat powder keg. All right. Okay. So there's nothing to do with powder problem. keg. <laughs> powder keg. Well, it's sort of like a firecracker. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I didn't actually count the salvos on the how many times it, how many hits it took to take this down. So uh, you know, it would have been wise to do that. so. Yeah, it would have been wise to do that. Yeah. 
got it in four on that. Well, that was definitely one shot less, without a doubt, because I had to go a bit further up before I turned back last time. Mm-hmm. Are we going to go up and t- take all this stuff out, or should we just ball rushing it? No, we, no, we need to know, don't, don't, don't we? We need to know. I, I, think the, I think the most important one is the one on the... Uh... The right, uh, the right hand quadrant, yeah. The yeah. Uh, the stuff that pops up because it allows. I, I think it gives you more. You can go north much. Uh, yeah, you, you're you're almost sort of like yeah, free to choose a path that's. And if you don't presented. go wide and trigger those ships, you could end up with a whole drone swarm coming out for you. I assume. Yeah, and when those um, corrosive turrets do fire at you, it's painful. Mm-hmm. Which, which I found out very easily in the big target. <laughs> Which which makes sense, right? Yes. I mean, I mean, if you if you can snipe them out, and then you run into them, yeah, I would expect that. You know. uh, and autoing, I think, was under thirty minutes. If I remember rightly, I'm pretty sure it was. If you do want to auto this target, well, that was faster, definitely. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was considerably faster. But the only thing as far as building damage that this changes is the big corrosive uh, phallus things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'm not, I'm you're not, not improving anything else apart from the, well, the, the, the it, it, standard weapons, yeah. No, because, you know, there's so much that you can snipe out. I'm just trying to figure out where it makes a difference. See, Splash could help for these. It needs a bit of playing, doesn't it? That's what it needs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think the extra building damage in the next target will definitely help because you have to kill two turrets in the same cluster very quickly and that sort of stuff, you know. All right. So this one is... See, that's not done far. That's that's definitely targeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they changed that. They lied to us on the uh, VXP targets. Yeah, that is definitely a, a directional um, accuracy-based weapon. No. Looks like it hit. <coughs> I can't tell which one it hit, sorry. Mm, let's see if the powder keg... See, the powder keg is supposed to happen every time, but it doesn't... Okay. See, that's what I'm saying, that the drones appear to be able to kill the, the mothership. I wonder if I can not trigger the round and I don't know yet. See, see how much damage that, you know, oh, I wouldn't. I missed you, it. You, I missed you, it. Do you understand what I'm saying? If, Sorry. No, it's, it's, all good. It, it's all good. If you uh, stay at distance, um, and just let the drones exploding from the powder keg kill the the motherships that they're they're. Launching. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can give that a go because I think you can outrange this one by just let's, let's have a look. Hang on, let's just because it's supposed to have a range of forty. When it dies, yeah, when it goes off, and see how much damage. There we go. We killed it in two shots. This one not as much. Okay. I much wonder if the splash did that more than the powder. Well, the yeah, splash. Not, not sure. But, yeah. So now you can just push the S button. Yeah, but we're also not doing like for like on uh, on our crew, so it might be slightly different. Looks like I've got even damage across the fleet this time. More damage overall. Uh, seven percent taken, yeah, and then one percent taken, yeah, yeah. Nineteen minutes. Okay. So the the drones when they fire those little rocket rocket lit thingies, are they penetrative or are they corrosive? What do we decide? Corrosive. corrosive Well, at least least they were corrosive when. So where's all that extra pen just come from then? Because that was the only only pen I see is. Those tiny little turrets, and there was definitely more then. Seventeen percent is a lot. Yeah. That's ten percent more. So, so, so maybe. I think the drones fire penetrative. 
Yeah, which is again they changed it completely from VXP weekend because we we look at took a good. I mean, the only thing I just let, let them let the no, drones no, come no, and no. hit me. Yeah. This is so KB saying the drones now fire penetrative. Yeah, I think they do too, and that's that right, explain now. Probably evade based, uh, accuracy based. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Oh, I, I can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could do instant fix that, but I can't be bothered. Or for, do you want to go and see what's got here? I think it's pretty even across the floor, though, isn't it? That looks pretty even to me. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll, I'll go back in. <clears throat> yeah, so the drones are doing that. I think you need to kill them pretty quick, particularly the fact that I've only got one pen plate on, don't forget. So for me, it's better to just get in there and get them done. So we're four minutes. Well, that is instant fix. Then. So actually, I'm here. Four minutes. Three fifty-two. Mm -hmm. Just seeing if one of these got a higher number again. Three fifty-two. Three fifty-two. All right, Ligos, So fools. So for fools like me, has chaff. Would you think it's better to use hyper thirty instead? I don't. I, I don't. Where where are your upgrades, mate? That's that's the important bit, because you gain an awful lot of like multi shot. But once you start to upgrade your ships, and you know, chaff is good if you've got I think pretty weak ships, weak you know in terms of upgrades because you don't have the firepower to kill the turrets off. So you might get there quicker, but you just take longer to kill them. Yeah, so because and I would definitely think for you then, Ligo, is, is probably the building damage crew might be the one if you've not got your ships upgraded and you don't have as many. It depends on what you've got, buddy. Um, right, okay, and that, that's one there. So we'll, we'll go off that crew. Let's go back to the original one. It hasn't run out yet, so we can play with both crews, can't we? And we'll go into the 101. Which is quite a nice target, and it's a, it's it's one of your sort of targets, Jeff. Definitely, that you you know the unpicking is is just as enjoyable than, as getting the points in some respects. So three o'clock, I think, is the right way to go in because you can choose. So what we haven't seen then till now. Uh, is that there are turrets that have directional um, firing arcs. Hmm. And not like... We didn't see that yeah, in the yeah, 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 and we didn't see this, this shit in the middle either. Uh, no, and then there's going to be halos that pop up in a minute as well. So that's why you need the speed. Um, these are those ones we were talking about. The, the penetrative like ones there. Like a vulture, just a newer looking thing. Um, and they are definitely accuracy based without a doubt. Um, so these ones fire inward, so don't worry about these. So, it, you know, I'm, I'm cleaning these up first, picking off these, which is what I did last time. Then I cleared up the ships. Then I went down there and cleared this up. Then I cleared off the halos, cleared off the Ronin. Okay. Cleared off this bit here, did this bit here, and then finish off on that side there because these all fire outwards. Look. And I managed to trigger the ships from the center. So he's already started on his little path because I've already seemed to have started. So what's nice about this one here is he just goes around in circles and, and does his own thing. But um, you can kite all of these four because they don't get their firing at that angle. But you can stop if you really want to. And you can press S if you really want to. But yeah. I would, I would push S in this instance. Well, I would. Just so I didn't fuck up. I would, but then just be cautious with these things because their firing range is not as pleasant as you thought it would be. As soon as you start thinking, oh, I'll press S up here, you'll regret it because the damage ring that they let off is pretty nasty. Yeah, so... So I'm going to go up and clip this first and then come back and clip this because then I can just kill these off straight away. Oh, no, I took this one out first, sorry, then came down, that's what I did. Now we can play silly buggers here and actually but this is accuracy based so why just put them up because his flag has got more evade 
Yeah, it's got a higher invade. But then uh, yep. they made a mistake. See the Halo range then? I think it's about 160, 180. Although, like I, did you take anything off the Halo? I didn't see your bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I did. Yeah, no, definitely. That's why yeah. I'm like, the splitting of the ships, it, it feels more risky to me. But uh, I'm, I'm sorry. In some areas it worked, in some areas it doesn't. It, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to understand which areas it does and doesn't at the moment. I'm not sure. But you can't stop. <laughs> but you definitely can't stop. Yeah, so these yeah, will yeah. come out at you, which is what you want. And then because they are penetrative, I need to... Oh, see, look, what is a stupid thing? Never turn back on yourself. There you go. So this is going to be a horrendous... See, look at the range those halos have got. And they move at a pretty good speed, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, their they're, they're projectile speed is huge. Now, if I take this one out, that will automatically... I don't have to worry about that one, but I'm not going to press... You know, I'm not pressing S here because look what's happening. So I've got to then kite, but not stop. There we go. There we go. And keep going and keep going. And then I can turn now. That ring's quite big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's wide arcs when you're turning. So this one here is not too bad. So I can take this one and then this one, which means I can come on the inside. Because those face inwards, look. That faces inwards and that one faces inwards. So notice the running wasn't firing at me. So I can drive down through, pick this one up, and then pick this one up, which is nice. Now I'm going to go in and hopefully, if I've got the timing right, kill the Ronin at the same time and then kill the two Halos, which don't have seem to have a minimum firing range either, by the way. Yeah, which doesn't. Doesn't they seem to keep there. firing all the way through, right to the center. And I thought, oh, I'll get in, I'll be fine. No, didn't do that at all. But so it's uh, almost guaranteed. See, look, guaranteed damage. Yeah, because you can't get out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't get out. You've got to go in there to kill them. And it's, and it's like plop. And it well, almost looked like as well. <laughs> but it almost looked like it was firing after it was dead as well, which is a bit naughty. Yeah, which happens all the first so time. But back yeah. out again then to take this one, because that will kill that one. And then straight in to get this one. Because then you can kill that one and then come down around and do this one. I think that's the route I took. I think a little bit of a time consuming target at this point. You're, you're going to have to, these are not going to be the quick blitz through and, and knock them out. Thing. This one isn't, no, definitely not. No, but the, the other one is. I think the other one, it takes driving, but yeah. Uh, not double doubling back around on the other one. So this one here, then, yeah, back up to here now to get that one to take that one. You see, because of the angle that that fires, and then take this one out, which will automatically should take this one out, and then draw the ships into here, and then you're free to go up and down this channel again. I mean, it seemed quicker when I was doing it in the live stream, but that's probably I'm just taking my time now. You can, yeah, you can it. just push the S button. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like these turrets, I was just trying to show it, it looks like these turrets rotate. Oh, can't push the S button there. Look, oh, yes, oh, now. He fired at me, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's too much. I, got, I think I got this one down to 16 or 17 minutes in the, in the live stream, but uh, we got caught out there on a couple of things. So 4% taken and 1% taken and resisted what? 51% and 22%. 25 minutes. Okay, so for the mistake, that wasn't too bad. Still pretty close to being dark repair, if it's even. Yeah, it's close enough to work, not to worry about it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether it's beneficial doing the building damage crew in there. I think I, I think you're quite right. Using the, is it Maidens that gives you the extra splash? Molotov Maidens would, yeah. Yeah, I think that might be a benefit to some people. Um not really sure. Do you want to have a horrendous um... party foot? He's three corrosive, one penetrative. Okay. Uh, I've which again was definitely. Made, I mean, I've got them down into both of them into instant fix, which I'm, I'm sure I'm happy with, to be honest. Yeah. 
which again we we chose that based on the VXP target. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. And surprise, surprise, surprise! Here's more pen. So it's straight away, you could go this way, look and, and kill this one off as well. So this doesn't seem too bad a route is to go in here. Oh, but not that way. That's right. That's why you don't do that then. Well, that's interesting. How much damage? So I'm going to exit there and see how much damage that caused me by going through one of those. It's a scatter gun, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just see what damage that actually caused. I mean, it'll be instant fix on the sea, but it'll be interesting. Well, it might not be actually. It's one of the ships there. Two got quite a bit of damage there. Was it two? Yeah, number two took a bit of damage. But I don't think it's horrendous. It was over the five minutes, though. Yep. Okay, we'll carry on. For... Um getting past time, but to do this one and that's it. And I'll just show you the 500. I don't really think you want me to hit it, do you, honestly? Do you? Please let you know. Yeah, let's not put you through that again. It needs unpicking. It's it's not a nice target. So you can't press S on all of these because it definitely um, catches you out if you aren't careful. Oh, right there. Too close. It's because I'm zoomed out, not zoomed in. That's my own fault. Now I can probably get these to come out down south, down south which would be better. Seeing as that's facing, that facing, that means I can drive up here and just clip that, clip that. So that might be a bit better way of doing it. Let me target the glut straight away. Surprised these haven't started. Oh, they just started firing now. That didn't seem too bad. Now, they appear to have stopped firing. So I'm going to try and kill them off. So I can't really get away. Well, that wasn't too bad. You're still there. I'm here. I'm on, I had myself on mute because I was... Alrighty. So that seemed a little bit better to actually do the center because I managed to get the, uh, the run on the far side before I started looking at the turrets. So uh, That one faces outwards, so I've got to go on the inside here. And then this one phases on the outside, so. So, I mean, you may be safe to go this way. I don't know yet, because I'm not sure the minimum range, sorry, the maximum range of these, but they don't seem too bad. So it may be safe just to come across there and clip that one. But you know you're definitely safe going this way if you're doing this. That one fires outwards, so.
Oh, I wonder if it's better to trigger these to pull out. I'm not sure. sure. I'm having a hard time deciding if that drone effect blowing up is really doing much of anything or if that was just a game. I'm not sure either, yeah, because it does say, what was their damage range? Was it 40? Yeah. yeah. Well, if I can keep them at full range, then obviously it's not going to affect me. But Okay, so bear in mind that error I had down there was a five-minute error, but however, the... yeah, I, I agree, party for, I mean, I've wasn't particularly impressed with the uh, five hundred. Just took forever. So twenty four, okay, with a bit of a five minute goof. So uh, right. that'll, that'll do. Okay, is there a five hundred close? We'll have a look. It's not pleasant. All right, call in your neighbors. Not pleasant. Right. Right next to <laughs> I won't be doing these yet until someone <laughs> shows me a really good puff because I don't have the time to work it out. <laughs> yeah, all good. Or I might get really bored as I did last time and start doing it on Sunday, find a path, and then went, Oh, I'm really happy with these now and they're really good. So, but the fact you've got to do the um, you've got to do the Ronin target as well to get the bonus. So it's not only just catered this target, you've also got to do the Ronin one. And that one I did it on auto was 40 minutes worth of damage on the Ronins. So that's not worth it, to be honest. Um, so ba basically the way you would put it, the, the 100 is the drunk target. The one-on-one -on -one you should be sober for to hit, right? Yeah. The 100 yeah. target with, the, uh, with no crew was 26 minutes damage or 28 minutes damage or something for me. Um, mm -hmm. So the reason I'm going to kite this is because in a minute two halos are going to pop up here or one halo or something like that here they are look so you need to get these out of the way so. try to stay at maximum range to hopefully get out the red wings but look i can't even i'm still not fast enough to even to drive at full range to get it away from the red rings i'm assuming you need to be at x1 no no, I, assume, uh, I assume you need to be at X1 and we're Oh, out. yes. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Because they shouldn't change the target, should they, for the next event? So. Shouldn't be in the words. Um, these are nasty. You need to kill these off very quickly. The rate of fire that they kick out is just awful. Which ones are? These little drones here. Ah, oh, that line. Okay. And they've got quite a firing range as well. They sort of warn you because they do turn towards face and face you sort of thing right at the start. Here they are. Let's see that. So we'll we'll leave those for a second because I drove into here and then they were going crazy at me right at the start. That seems an awful lot of dumb fire that time. It was all landing behind my ship. So, yeah, see that one there, look, is a, one of those directional ones. And it's right next to the drone. So maybe I have to go in at this angle. Oh, that's Halos, isn't it? Yep. No, move, 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 move. Get out of Dodge. So I need to try and go in there and get... Oh, look, see, I shouldn't have turned there. That's another one. Look, you've got to be so bloody accurate with these things. So I've got to try and get these now without killing those drones or getting the drones to trigger on me. Oh, there's another Halo. Well, I managed to just do that. And miss that. That's not too bad, I suppose. Okay. You can get a splash kill on these uh, drones if you look, hit. What's them, the hit fire rate? Them. What's the fire rate on them? They're awful. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Holy crap! Yeah, they are chucking it out at you. Those look like corrosive rocket kind of things. Yeah, they're different, aren't they? Yet again. Here we go. So more drones. 
target the glut. Drive away. Swim away. Swim and now away. drive two wards. And then go back up and kill those. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Look at this. Look at the incoming. It's just horrendous, isn't it? It's not pretty. You okay there, Hafei? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Ah, uh, so. I wonder if Remember, I you weren't going to drive this. You weren't going to do it. You're just going to show it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, but look at the damage I got already. And and yeah. flagship flagship's taking a pasting, even though I've got a, quite a high evade on it. Hmm. I reckon the range on these is about 110, 130, something like that. Doesn't seem horrendous, does it? Oh, here we go. Drone's time again. Well, you haven't been shellacked as bad as you were in your stream. Oh, I got absolutely spliced up. <laughs> I'd like to take a more extreme angle on this, but yeah, it worked. But yeah. but you know what? Those were dumb fire rockety looking things. They all landed behind you. Don't tell me I've got to actually go up. So you've got to hit every one of those little needle buildings. That's stupid, isn't it? It's just a time wasting thing. Is there one on the right on that one you're coming up on? Is there a thing on the right too? A spirey thing? Don't think so. I think okay. we're done. I think it's just this one. Right. But that's a time. Yeah, that's that's a good yeah, five and a half minutes, isn't it? I'm I'm sure somebody will come up with a very nice path and it'll be all fantastic and we'll all be happy. But at the moment. That takes a bit of thought, and I'm not wasting my time thinking about things like that. 4% uh, taken, 50% resisted, 24% evaded, and 1% taken, 21% uh, resisted. So I may have to go back and change my armors. You're quite right. Okay, an hour. Uh, that's, I think it was 2 hours 43 or something, the first time I did it. Look at the poor flagship. But... Mm -hmm. So it's definitely accuracy-based, isn't it? Because it's getting a slamming, that thing. Yeah. So all the sources of accuracy based damage are the um the thing that looks like the vulture missile and yeah. then anything else? Well well I mean it looks like some of those drones were firing things that were definitely aiming at a ship as opposed to just but I don't know to be honest. It's it's difficult to say. Okay. But it can't just be the vulture missiles because there wasn't enough of them. Well, there is a lot of them actually. There well, were quite a few. There must be about ten in there, mustn't there? Yeah, and the Three, halos. Four, six, that, eight. That, that's penetrative damage out of those damage circle. Or but that'd be area effect penetrative, wouldn't it? As well. Yeah. So, but it all adds. You're right. That's now it's a fair point actually because it would add across the fleet. So add that on top of, and some of that was poor driving yet again. So, but I think the drones. I mean, it may pay to go back out, come in, just get clapped by a couple of drones, and then go back out and see what the damage type was. But that's not for now. Um, right. And so there's there's more than one type of drone. That's the other kicker. Uh, yes. Did you want to see the uh, Ronan target? Are you quite happy? Apparently, it's the VXP target, the original one. Mm. I, don't know if you've, I don't know if you've seen it. But... I don't know. We're up, we're up to an hour and 24 minutes. I don't know. Oh, that's late. Yeah. No, that's yeah. nothing. That's enough. All right. All right, people. We'll be back on Friday and we, we'll have all this figured out, right? Apparently. <laughs> so, um, thanks everybody for showing up, and uh, and uh, we will see you on on Friday. And uh, hopefully, we've uh, we figured out these targets a little bit better. Um, I think they're they're reasonable at this point. Um, and uh, hope you all do well in the raid. And uh, take care, everybody. Laters. Laters. Later, people.